know what you guys are thinking? And uh, the answer is yes. I have been called a taller, better looking Fokote. <laughs> Oddly enough, um, I've actually been called a much smaller, much better looking Brock Fleming as well. Um, but obviously I wasn't quite as excited about that. All jokes aside, um, red hair is about all I have in common with Phil, uh, as I was uh, nowhere near the, uh, the uh, uh, university athlete that he was uh, or the individual talent that he was. Um, the only reason I'm standing up here is because I was fortunate enough to uh, play for an amazing 2006 group that uh, realistically could have any one of its 12 starters standing up here accepting this award. Not just starters, um, backups as well. I mean, we, we, we had a great, a great squad. Um, why they selected me first or at all uh, is beyond me, but I'll gladly accept the award and um, uh, share it with my teammates, former teammates and coaches, as I think it's a well-deserved nod to our 2006 group. And um, uh, unfortunately, we're tight on time here tonight. Um, we only have eight minutes, uh, so I can't go around and thank everyone individually. Um, but I would like to thank a few people that I think had the biggest impact um, on our, our, our team on the defensive side of the ball. Um, the first person I want to mention is uh, Coach Danny Laramie. Um, in my opinion, uh, he should be up here entering the GG Hall of Fame long before me and uh, long before any of, the, uh, any of my teammates on defense. He, uh, uh, anyone that knows Danny knows he's... Uh, um, uh, tremendous uh, knowledge of the game, um, brings intensity to whatever he does, and he's the reason that uh, we played defense the way we did, which was unselfish and uh, intelligent. Um, but more, more importantly, uh, Coach Laramie didn't just help our defense, he, uh, he helped our entire team because um, he was our strength and conditioning coach as well. And uh, this is a duty that he took on uh, above and beyond his, his roles on the defense. And this had a direct impact on our performance on the field. And um, um, we got bigger, stronger, and faster every year because of Coach Laramie. Uh, the other uh, coach I want to thank is uh, Coach Pichet, who uh, was obviously our head coach. And he's the one responsible for bringing all these great coaches uh, and players together under one roof um, from my time at Ottawa U. From 2003 to 7 and, and really beyond. Uh, how he was able to do that is uh, something I'll, I'll never know, but uh, he was able to um, attract these great coaches that gave up uh, so much to come and coach a group of guys with the potential of um, making it to the Vanya Cup again uh, uh, like, like the Gigi's did in 2000. And uh, obviously all these coaches took a chance um, on Coach Pichet and um, uh, uh, he eventually delivered. Um, I just want to mention them quick because uh, I can't mention uh, each one of the coaches, but um, again, the, the sacrifice they make with, with, uh, with work and home life. Um, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old now, and I'm trying to work, and uh, it's friggin' hard. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, kudos, kudos to them for that, and uh, kudos to them for, or kudos to Coach Pichet for um, making it all happen. The other thing I want to mention about Coach Pichet quick is uh, his thick skin. He, um, uh, he took over uh, uh, the team in the early 2000s and uh, took a lot of chances on, on players like me, uh, recruits that he thought could have potential down the line. And uh, I'm sure he had some tough conversations with, with lots of people, not just the veterans that myself and other guys were addressing and starting over, um, but uh, you know, all of the onlookers uh, looking on the Gigi's wondering why they're going three and five when they won a Vanny Cup three years prior. But Coach Pichet knew that um, taking a chance on us, uh, investing in, in, in the future would eventually pay off. And uh, um, like I said, it obviously did. So uh, uh, amazing job, uh, Coach Pichet. Um, two other coaches I want to thank quick. Uh, they were both defensive back coaches during my time at Ottawa U, 2003 to seven. Uh, was uh, Coach Mike White and um, Coach Devin Murphy. Um, Coach White actually had a huge uh, impact on my decision to come to Ottawa U, and I know that it was the same for a lot of defensive backs that I played with. Um, he has a, a tremendous passion for football, and uh, he is uh, 
relentless in um, setting the expectation for his secondary, and I think that that's contagious uh, across the entire team. Not only on defense, but onto the offensive side of the ball. We had uh, defensive backs that, that raised the bar for everyone, um, largely because uh, Coach White set this expectation of being um, almost as good as uh, the 2000 Vanier defense, which was sort of um, the ex expectation that we were shooting for the entire time um, that we were at Ottawa U. Uh, Devin Murphy took over the reins from Coach White, and really we didn't miss a beat because Devin has the same passion and um, intensity for football and the, and the defensive back position that um, obviously had a huge impact on our, uh, our defensive group and our team as a whole. So thank you to, to those four coaches. And uh, selfishly, um, I just want to th thank a few people personally uh, that had a huge impact on um, me deciding to go to Ottawa U and, and supporting me uh, in my aspirations of playing football at a high level. Uh, my parents are here tonight. They were here uh, through all my CIS games, uh, home and away, and uh, they made tons of sacrifice for me to uh, pursue football. <laughs> I uh, also want to thank my wife, who unfortunately isn't here tonight. She's at home with our, our two boys, uh, one and three, Jack and Adam. They, uh, they were fighting a cold all week, so uh, she's at home taking one for the team um, so I can party with the team like, it, like it's 06. Thanks.